everyone. It's Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Minnie. Today is day one of our two-day article. It's July 10th, and it's the Just So You Know article. <laughs> yes, today, July 10th, is the Happy Vibe article. And our article today is called "The Happy Vibe of Being Tea Drunk." That we today's topic is the happy vibe of being tea drunk. Can someone get drunk on tea? 喝茶原来也会醉吗 ？I don't know. <laughs> I read this article and I tried to understand this myself. I had never heard this term before, so 从来没有听过这个 And I wanted to understand it, and and I think I understand it. And after I describe what what I think this means, and we read the article, I wonder if you would call it tea drunk too. I know there is like milk drunk, 奶醉奶醉 That's interesting. I didn't yeah, know that. because the baby actually do look drunk after they have maybe they they lunch on the milk for more than an hour, and after they wake up, they look like they're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the word I had actually thought of, and I I suppose it comes from our title. It's called the happy vibe. If you are familiar, if you know some like young people slang in America, you will know they talk about vibing. V i b c h u e j i n g vibing.、Yeah. This means you're relaxed, you're happy, and you feel very satisfied. And you just hand hand man eat a ganjay. Um, some music gives you a vibe check. You it feels good right now. This、mm. this music is the vibe.、Mm. And so we'll use that word today. That made me kind of understand this better.、Mm. Let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to start paragraph one and learn more about being drunk on tea. Yeah. All right, it's paragraph one. We're on pages twenty and twenty-one. It is July tenth. No, I'm not going to sing after Minnie tricked me last time. So <laughs> there's no songs to sing here. Let's start our paragraph. Tea is great for an energy boost. Ah, so he says tea is very good for boosting energy. Do you think of tea as an energy drink or something to relax you? Um, tea to a mother is just something to um, like you you die for something unhealthy, but you can drink coffee, you can drink alcohol. So tea is like your only option. So this is your 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 medication. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So for me, for a long time, tea was something I drank to relax, and then in Taiwan, I drank tea just as like. Not really an energy boost. It's just I didn't want to drink water, and Taiwan has good tea, so I like to go buy a tea from little tea shops.、Mm. But yeah, especially in America, I was always relaxing when I drank tea. I wanted to fang song, low lights, calm music, like some jazz, something chill, something cool. I think that's more for like wine, not tea. Well, I was underage, right?、Oh. Also, I don't drink alcohol, so for me, this was my vibe. And I, I suppose, I think you're right. I think you're right because I don't drink alcohol. When you said that, this is like what you do when you want to drink wine. You want to relax and kind of you don't have to leave the house. You don't have to drive anywhere. So you just kind of turn those lights low,、mm -hmm. drink some tea or wine, and you're just hanging out and feeling good. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That this is to me what I think of when I think of drinking tea. Let's go to our next sentence. It's also good for the digestive and nervous systems. 嗯，那这边 digested 这个字要小心哦，很多人念的乱七八糟、怪里怪气的哦。那他说，喝茶呢，对消化系统跟神经系统都有好处。Okay, pick up your pens here. So, digestive system. 这个是你的肚子 ，right? 这个有 d i g， but it's not dig. It's not digestive. 这个是错的。Dig. So long i die and then. J G is J digestive and you can die because it means to cut into two. You take your food and you tear it up, you break it up into pieces so you can get like a yin yang in the middle, the energy in it. And your nervous system is like your brain and、mm, yeah, sensing. Tea lovers often describe tea as being able to improve one's mood and help reduce stress. 嗯，所以茶友会说呢，喝茶呢可以改善人的情绪，然后帮助你减轻压力。So when we describe something, that just means we're kind of telling you about it. And when we describe something as something, we're saying "jaga dongsi kui zo jaga shiqing." So、uh, also it means like like. So we describe A as B. Hmm. So we will say what something is. What we will use describe A as B. Use as. Look at the word improve, and you still have your pen in your hand. Jaga improve one's mood. Look at the word improve, and you still have your pen in your hand. Jaga improve. Ofa chang shuang o u like moon. You get buse improve. That's improve. wrong. And we reduce stress. We can say reduce stress. That's okay. But reduce stress 比较自然一点 
stress， 你要学习来这个是不可数，所以这个助词是蛮复杂的。We have improve, reduce, and stress. 不要忘记 stress is uncountable， 不可数。嗯，老师都用中文讲完了，很棒。All right, all right. Let's look at our next sentence. In fact, many tea drinkers enjoy a condition known as being tea drunk or tea high, which changes how people feel physically, mentally, or emotionally. 嗯，所以事实上呢，许多喝茶的人享受。这一种感觉，他们称之为茶醉或者是 T high 茶 high 的状态哦。那这会改变你的身体、精神还有情绪上的感受。这个 high， we have to be careful. I don't like to speak about like talk about rude words， but 事实上，有时候这个比较不礼貌的词也很重要，要明白。So when like Taiwanese say， oh， I feel so high， <笑>你住美国 ，like 你不要这样子说好不好？这样别人会觉得你在嗑药。That's right， 你在吸毒。So 这个 high 的感觉， you gotta be careful with that。And you can say、这个、I'm vibing。Yeah， I'm vibing。Vibing, I'm chilling. I feel good. Don't run around saying I'm high. The、yeah, police will be not happy. They will feel very unhappy, and、yeah. I'm not joking about that. In America or Canada, I'm so high. <laughs> We all draw. Now, when we say tea drunk, this is from the Chinese cha. So in English, when we hear this, it feels like oh, so you can't drive a car? <laughs> no, 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 no. Nigga cha. So this doesn't mean like you can't drive or you can't walk straight. It just Means that because you drank this tea, you feel like different than you did before. Yeah, 可能就是我们后面讲的嘛 physically, mentally, or emotionally different. That's right. Look at the word physically. Pick up your pen. Draw a line. P H Y S. Phys. This is always about your body. You know, P E class. Physical education. That's right. P E just a physical education. This is about your body. Mentally, M E N T. Draw a line.、Ment. This is about your mind, M I N D, or your brain. And then emotionally, this is the easiest one. E M O. Just a sound like emoji, right? Like yeah, like and、shoot. heart. That's right. So this is your body, your brain, and your feelings.、Mm. Let's take a quick break. All right, we're back with more Enjoy English School. It's July tenth, and we're on pages twenty and twenty-one. Let's start paragraph two. In fact, being tea drunk isn't dangerous like being drunk on alcohol. 嗯，这我们刚刚上一章讲到嘛。那事实上，茶醉并不像酒醉一样那么的危险哦。That's right. Now, 这个 like 不是喜欢 Please be careful when you see like. That's right. It doesn't always mean 喜欢 Let's continue. It's simply a feeling of being very calm, relaxed, and happy. 那这只是一种非常 calm 平静 relax 放松 and happy 还有快乐的感觉。I wrote the word chill here, like、yep. the word chill.、Mm -hmm. If you talk to foreigners, like chill means to like feng song. It means to calm down.、Yeah. But also, you could say I am chill. This means I am relaxed. This、mm -hmm. is really good English. Yeah, chillax. You're in Zhangjia. <laughs> chillax. I haven't said chillax in. Well, I'm old now, so I don't say chillax. <laughs> but <laughs> I used to say chillax.、Yeah. <laughs> All right, our next sentence. It's a positive sensation. It's a positive feeling that can contribute to lively interaction among friends. Or deep thinking when one is alone. 嗯，所以 sensation 跟 feeling 它其实是差不多的意思，都是感觉哦。所以它是一种 positive 正面的 sensation， 正面的感觉。那可以促进呢朋友之间的活跃互动，或者是独处时的沉思。When you are drinking alcohol, do you like to have lively interaction among friends, or do you deep think alone? I think I'm more like socializing when I'm drinking. I think so too. I、yeah. never drink alone. I don't. I don't think I've ever done that. I, drinking me, alone is sad. Doesn't it feel sad? Well, my dad. My dad loved to drink, and he loved to stay up late on a Saturday night, and he'd have his orange juice and vodka, and he would play rock and roll music or his music really loudly, and he'd like. Play like air guitar and stare at himself in the mirror. Air guitar, <laughs>、oh. air guitar. So my dad did not play a musical instrument, male yuichi, but he would pretend to play guitar. And I, I still see that so clearly in my my dad was vibing. He was chilling. He was relaxing. He was chillaxing. Just the corniest way possible. <laughs> very cute. It is funny. It is. It is very、um, endearing to think about my dad back then.、Mm. So 
But I, man, you wouldn't catch me dead doing that. (laughs) When you catch somebody dead, that means it's like the worst thing that could happen. All right, here we go. Let's continue to our next sentence here. Many tea drinkers also feel more productive and focused when working in a tea drunk state. I feel this too. 许多喝茶的人在茶醉的状态下工作，也会觉得比较有效率，然后也比较专注。You feel? Yeah, I agree. I I agree with this because. When I would turn the lights down low, or like I like working kind of like with low lights, unless I have to read, right? Do you have good eyes? I maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know the Taiwanese say don't like do anything in the dark, but、yeah. I do. So、um, I like to drink tea, and I I do feel that energy, but also because tea kind of relaxes you. It's weird because you're relaxed, but you have more energy. You have like a focused energy, don't you?、Mm, you feel like you can keep going for longer. Yeah, I agree. It, it gives you a little bit of a better. In English, we would call it flow. F L O W. Flow. This, that's right. So you're not thinking, oh, what's I? How she? Think like when you're playing a game or you're just scrolling on your phone. You kind of forget time, right? That's flow. And sometimes when you really like your work, you can flow and do a really good job.、Mm. That's like, oh, I I love to be in like flow、mm. to be that feeling. Yeah. All right. So with that, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we have our final paragraph. All right, friends. Welcome back to Enjoy English School. We're on our final paragraph on pages twenty and twenty-one. We're talking about the happy vibe of being tea drunk. In addition to caffeine, tea also contains two other substances that can influence brain activity: catechins and L-theanine. 嗯，所以呢，除了咖啡因之外，茶还有另外两种可以影响大脑活动的物质 （substance） 就是物质哦。那这两个有点难念的是儿茶素跟茶氨酸。That's right. So catechins and L-theanine. But don't worry about these two words. If you don't understand these two words, there are a lot more useful words in this article. This just we're giving you a little science because this is the just so you know article. Yep. Catechins naturally relax the brain and body. 嗯，那儿茶素呢？它自然地放松你的大脑跟身体。Now, 这个是每一个脑子跟每一个身体 ，but we won't say like. Everybody's brains and bodies. That's weird English.、Yeah. So we say the plus a singular, the brain, the body.、Mm. We do this with animals a lot too, because we could say sharks are very dangerous animals. We can use a plural here. Sharks are very dangerous animals. But we could also the say shark is the shark is a dangerous animal.、Mm. This singular we understand just a meika. 对 Let's continue on. As for L-theanine. It is an amino acid that can reduce stress. 嗯，那至于茶氨酸呢？它是一种可以减轻压力的氨基酸。Yeah. So again, as for L-theanine, don't worry about this two word. You could just call it as for A and B. Think about the other words. Study those words. You don't worry about these two words. If you remember them next week, that's crazy. If I remember them next week, that will be crazy. <laughs> 所以不要有压力，这些很难的字，你就把它当做是一种看故事的感觉。Right. Don't stress these two words. No stress.、啊、And don't forget stress. Yali, right here. This is an uncountable noun. She shall I that this is uncountable. Now we can say stresses, but that's a wonder boy on the suit saying this one right here is the uncountable noun.、Mm. When absorbed by the body, catechins and L-theanine make a person feel not only calm. But also alert. 嗯，那当被身体吸收了之后呢？这个儿茶素跟茶氨酸呢，会让人不仅感到镇定，而且它还会变得很机敏 ，alert. Okay, we have probably one of the most famous writing structures in English. Not only A, but, but also B. B. If you don't know this, 赶快背好 You will use this so much in English. This is like. Verb ja as go to shu ne ma chang yong ne ying wen. It's just something you use all the time. Not only a, but also b. Hmm. That also is can 省略了你有时候会听到人家说 not only a but b. That's that's correct. That's、mm-hmm. also correct. So 
Calm, we know, means relaxed. Chillaxed, but alert means you are paying attention. So calm but alert. I wrote the word Zen under this. This is what foreigners think about, like Zen, like when you're calm but also very alert of what's happening.、Mm. You're you're in your kind of group. 老师讲的 Zen, Z E N, 就是我们说的禅修禅定叫 Zen. We might say in a groove, in a just just like. I N A, and then groove is G R O V E in a groove. So think of like a Hesa Champion, right? The big music thing, a record, and it has those little holes, and you put the needle in it. That's a groove, that little valley. And when you are in a groove, you're doing work very effectively. And so T can put you in a groove. You're in flow,、mm-hmm. and you're not drowsy like alcohol. Like you mentioned. That when babies can get milk drunk, right, and they look drunk, that kind of sleepy feeling in English is called drowsy. D R O W S Y. Drowsy. All right. With that, let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we have our vocab review.、Mm-hmm. All right, friends. We're back with more Enjoy English School, and we're beginning our vocab review for day one of the happy vibe of being tea drunk. Yes. Our first phrase is to describe A as B. 嗯，那 describe 是描述的意思。那 describe A as B 就是把什么视为什么，看成什么的意思。In our story, we said tea lovers often describe tea as being able to improve one's mood.、Mm. Number two, we have wow, we have those tough words physically. And mentally, 那不要忘记 physically 看到 p h y s 就是代表你的身体。想到 p e physical education， 你就会记得这个字。再来 m e n t 就代表你的 m i n d， 你的 mind。所以 mentally 就代表你精神上的。And your feelings were emotionally. That looks like the word emoji, like on your cell phone. Yeah. Number three, alcohol. Alcohol 就是酒精啊。That's right. 但是注意哦，如果是大家消毒用的那个酒精，我们通常前面会加 rubbing, rubbing、yeah. alcohol. But you won't just say alcohol. Like you'll just say alcohol. But you kind of recognize you're not going to drink that.、Yeah. The situation makes it very clear.、Yeah. So maybe you, if you do drink alcohol, hey, we need to buy alcohol,、uh, rubbing alcohol, or like or, red wine, right? You、yes. would be specific.、Mm. Number four, calm. 注意是 calm 不是 c l a m 啊哈 p c l a m 是你的蛤蟆你的蛤蜊，但是我们这边的 calm 是 c a l m 代表说是冷静沉着的意思。Students like to spell it clam like yeah the, uh, right yeah、like、clam c l a m number five to contribute to something yeah contribute to something 就是代表说会去贡献 contribute to something 这个中文是我们这一句他说 it's a positive sensation。That can contribute to, so it has to be a noun. So it can contribute, contribute to something. Contribute. So you add to something.、Mm. Next one we have productive. Productive 就代表说你有很多产量，很多产出。Productive 就代表你的效率很好。You're not wasting time.、Exactly. Productive is the opposite of wasting time.、Mm. Number seven to influence. Influence 就是影响的意思。我们这边当动词使用，但它其实也是影响的名词哦。So maybe on Instagram you see influencers. They tell you what they think. 加 R. Yeah.、嗯、Number eight, alert. Alert 这边是形容词，代表很机敏、机警。This is you're paying attention. You can also get cell phone alerts. They're telling you watch out for this thing. Yeah. Okay. With that, we're done with day one of our happy vibe of being tea drunk. But we'll be back with day two to talk more about being tea drunk,、mm-hmm. and we get to learn a little bit more about some、uh, fun adjective grammar for Enjoy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Annie. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.